the wintertime blues can keep many Iowans from enjoying the great outdoors. The same can be said for our furry four-legged friends who don't get the necessary exercise. But one South Central Iowa dog owner howls a different tune. Alongside a pack of Siberian Huskies, this Iowan recreates the Alaskan countryside in our own backyard. Amidst the gently rolling hills of South Central Iowa rests a canine oasis. A trail mostly traveled by groups of summertime bikers transforms into a tree-lined and snow-covered highway for one of winter's most popular dogs, the Siberian Husky. Ginger Plummer runs Howling Hills Canine Campus, a dog boarding and grooming operation near Cumming. But her true passion lies in her sled dogs and the crisp air of an Iowa winter. And we were lucky enough to join Ginger and her team for a dash down the Great Western Trail. What things should I keep in mind, or, you know, because <laughs> I've never done this before? Actually, more just steering the st sled and keep it behind the dogs. All I have to do is tell you which way to lean, mostly. That's about the only thing you'll have to do. <laughs> okay. So I need to know my rights and lefts, pretty much. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ginger's huskies could hardly control themselves once their harnesses are set. The barks and squeals aren't from pain, they just want to run. Hey. Let him go. Let him go. Hi, they take off really fast and it's like this quick little rush and then they slow down a little bit and it's just really nice and beautiful and all the snow. Couldn't ask for a more perfect day. Excitable sled dogs and their human cargo are a welcome wintertime image on the Great Western Trail. A small but passionate group of mushers haven't made Iowa dog sledding a widespread activity and it's certainly an import. Even the toughest Iowa winter pales in comparison to the frozen tundra of Alaska, where dog sledding lore traces back centuries to Eskimo tribes and the famed Iditarod sled race. But Iowa's dog sledding is not about records or crossing miles of frozen cornfields. It's time spent outdoors amongst family. We started out with one Siberian Husky, and then we acquired another one, and then we got another one, and it's like, hey, you know, maybe I can get a team going here, you know, it's... And it's something, you know, the dogs absolutely love doing it. So, I mean, it's you know, anything you can do to do something with them and, you know, everybody can enjoy it. It's really a good deal. Chris Beyerhelm convinced his wife and two daughters to take up dog sledding alongside the family's three Siberian Huskies. The same dogs that curl up with Chris's wife, Tammy, and their daughters, Katie and Chrissy, on the family couch can also pull a pair of them down a mile-long section of the Great Western Trail. It's really good. It's, I mean, as long as you got snow and somewhere to do it, it's, it's great. I mean, it's, I just wish it snowed all year round so we could do it all the time. <laughs> Summer really puts a, a damper in that. But corralling all the dogs, sled, and harnesses isn't easy. It takes a few helpful hands. It's very family friendly. <laughs> it's actually, it's, I mean, without my daughters and my wife coming out helping me, I mean, it'd be very difficult to do. I mean, you guys seen hooking all the dogs up and they're so excited to go. You, all the extra hands always helps out. It may not be the first winter activity that comes to mind during Iowa's coldest months, but it's one of our most underutilized and serene ways to rediscover the state's snow-covered trails. Hey, Martha, go, go, go! Good girl! Good girl, let's go, Martha! Well, one, I couldn't believe how quiet the dogs got, but uh, <laughs> it, was, it was beautiful, and like the wind in your face, and it was just amazing. It's cool, it's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, you just gotta do it. <laughs>